Um, I'm in a relationship. My longest relationship was three years. Is that your current relationship? No. Um, I actually met this guy through Tinder, who I'm mm -hmm. currently dating. How long have you guys been together? Um, we've been together for about two months, and we actually met each other originally in high school. Mm. The three-year relationship, who ended it? Um, so it was both of us. We were both abusing substances, and um, it was a really toxic relationship. We ended up reconnecting, and I got pregnant, and I had a son. Mm, you have a kid? Yeah, he's two. You have a son with the three-year relationship guy? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And how old's your son? He's two. Got it. Okay. And uh, so it was a mutual split because of the substance abuse? Yeah, it got so toxic we couldn't be around each other. Okay. All right. So totally mutual. Yeah, it was... I would say that I've never been in love... Um, the current relationship I'm in is the healthiest, but I think mm -hmm. the rest was just trauma, trauma bonds. Okay. You said you introduced your baby daddy to a chick while I was seeking out a threesome and they wound up getting together. We were all substance abusers, not saying that to shame her or anyone, but it opened the door for these situations to occur. Mm -hmm. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, what? What happened? <laughs> Yeah, I need, what? Hear, I need to hear that again, too. Um, so my baby daddy was a drug dealer in town. He used to sell cocaine. I used to ride with him in the car, and we stopped at a 7-Eleven. I walked in, and I saw this girl who I thought was really attractive. I walked up to her. I told her I liked her hair, and I was trying to, like, initiate a threesome. Um, it was, and whose behest? Did, did, did both of you want this, or just one of you want this? Or? So this was from my baby daddy groomer who encouraged, like, started the whole, planted the seed in my head about threesomes and everything. And I would... That doesn't really answer the question, though. Is that something that you wanted? So I would do it to please him, and I would feel really bad afterwards. Um, okay. But I did it because I was really insecure, and I didn't want to be alone. Um and at that time, I felt like I needed his approval. Um, so yeah, I walked into a 7-Eleven, I complimented her, and then she ended up taking us to her friend's house that was down the street where she was partying. He ended up being her new connect for Coke, and he started connecting what? with her. And um, they started meeting up behind my back, and then we broke up within like a year of them being together. And about four months after our breakup, he had gotten her pregnant. And yes, they. That's it, awesome. I, <laughs> I was so so mad, but then when I saw what the baby looked like, I was so happy for them. I was so happy for them, and my son has a beautiful half sister, and she's nine years old, and um, I'm in contact with the mom, and my baby daddy should be getting out in February, but we're not planning on getting together. Getting out of prison. Is he going to get together with um, with baby mama too? No. Hmm. Um, he actually told me he was gay after I told him I was pregnant after a planned pregnancy. That was his excuse. It wasn't That's trying to say he, didn't, huh? he couldn't have got you pregnant. Huh? Um, you know, it was weird because we planned the pregnancy and during our whole relationship on and off, he had shown a lot of like bisexual tendencies mm -hmm. so it's kind of one of those things that's up in the air maybe he's bisexual maybe he is gay okay well did he usually have his threesomes with two women um we did like both we did group sex we did it with his guy friends with my girlfriends what was the body count again it was 11. It was when I was 16 and it was like me and my teenage friend and then his like two friends and yeah and they did stuff together, these two guys? So the two, he never did anything with guys in front of me, but there were like other things in the bedroom that he would request that made me think maybe he was a little gay. Do you like, do you like it peg? Okay. Um, huh? Not with like a strap on. But like with... Like other stuff, yeah. He was into that sort of thing. Oh, word. So he's having a what good time fuck? in prison? Huh? I gotta play it off this one. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you 
Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I got a dude I can introduce him to named Wes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, baby Daddy was a coke dealer. Okay, we talked about that. Uh, he wanted to make it look like he was helping in. Peanut Butter Nipples donated $69. Long time viewer. First time donation. Of Yo, all the women on the you, podcast, bro. Maddie, employee, is the sexiest girl without a doubt. I appreciate the whole podcast crew. Keep it up. Peanut Butter Nipples. <laughs> Thank you, peanut butter nipples. That was very kind of you. K- Kitty, or Kitty loves Kush. It's my Instagram. Yeah, yeah. What's your What's your actual name of it? Gabby. Okay. I just, okay. Yeah. Do you prefer Kitty or Gabby? No, Gabby. Okay. <laughs> or, were you just reading the Instagram? Yeah. So you said, I used to be a modern thinking woman, and how that backfired on me big time. Big, big time. <laughs> Did I spell it funnier? Big time. Sorry. <laughs> just, hey, what's that? Yeah. Fr- what movie is that from? <laughs> Uh, wait, what's that? Anybody chat? What movie is that from? What movie? It's it's that uh, I love you, man. I think with uh, Paul Rudd. I think chat. I haven't seen it. Big big time. Chat. Can ch- chat help me out? Is it from I love you, man? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> big time. Okay, sorry, I'm being so cringe. Okay, my bad. Uh, I have learned a lot, and I want to put modern thinking women in the hot seat. They think they are winning by using men, and it's dis- it's. That's fucking disgusting. To see. Um. So I feel like the reason I've struggled a lot with this is related to that with like friendships with women is because I've vocalized like, you know, they'll tell me that they're setting up dates so they can get free dinners, and I'm like, mm. okay, um, you're always complaining to me afterwards about how like you're lonely and about how you can never settle down with a man, and then when I call them out about their behavior and how they're acting, they get really upset with me. Um, wait, what was the question? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, basically, <laughs> it it, it makes uh, I don't like it, and I end up having disagreements with okay. women. Okay. All right. Yeah. And you said, oh. Um. Nah. So so you think all modern women like use men just like that, like straight I didn't up? Didn't say that. Well, um, you specifically said to put the modern women in the hot seat. Yes. Right? If there were any who wanted to, who were open to it, and saying like, oh yeah, I'm so happy because that's what would happen. I would make friends with these girls, and they're like, oh, I'm so happy living my life, and then they're calling me complaining about the decisions that they're making. Like, oh my God, I ended up going to his house at 2 a.m. I was like, girl, we talked about that. And that's we were on the phone, a modern and you woman said you were going to tell him no. Yeah, but like that's. But I'm just, I'm just misunderstanding. She's a slut and she knows it. <laughs> yeah, like it's not necessarily like the modern woman. I just, I don't see like the uh, traditional the correlation. women don't do that. Yeah, but it's like it's not just traditional and modern because like not all modern women. That's would what do I'm that. looking at, though. So okay, so you're specifically looking like in the promiscuous. He said it. Woman. I want to put modern women in the hot seat. Yeah, that. But, but like that's what I'm talking about too because that's what you wrote. I don't understand what your question um, is. Can you clarify? Do you do you believe all modern women are like that because you put specifically the modern women? I don't women know all seat. modern women. I literally okay. just said the women that I've dealt with who are modern thinking okay. who get mad. So it's just in your, your own in, in your experience the ones Cuz that's who are all I can for speak that. for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, more notes. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, you said you used to date older men. You were groomed by an older man who made me believe he loved me, and I'd like to talk about the damaging effects grooming can have on someone. Uh, one question for clarification. When you dated this older man, were you an adult? Um, no, so it was my baby daddy. I was 16. He was 25. That's, mm. that's a yikes. Okay. Uh, so that was... Would that be grooming, Andrew? Is that grooming? If... <laughs> <laughs> it does not care. Andrew, is that Rachel? Andrew, tell Rachel Aww. 
to sit down. Is that Rachel you're talking to, Andrew? Can we have her on the Oh, we pod? can't hear you. Yeah, that's Rachel I'm talking to. Get, get oh, her. you guys want Rachel Cam- on yes, the yes. Cameo. I like her. Quick cameo. Quick cameo. They want, they want the cameo. Quick cameo. She can do like, uh, you know, maybe just walk by or something. They just want you to pop on for a minute. Just like pop her head into I the frame. I want to see the cookie. They just want you to pop just on. Just do a little wave. Show the, show the pile of cookies, mm-hmm. by the way. <laughs> Sponsor. Show the cookies. I tried to get Madison to get a cookie but from Costco, but they were all out. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. We get a little Rachel. Oh, uh, the, the picture in the back scared me. Oh, okay. She says no. Oh. She said that there's nobody on the panel who's worth debating. Oh. <laughs> Tell Rachel I say hello. Oh, uh, Q Never says hi. I eventually recover from this. Oh, she says hi, Q. She says you're great. Thank you, Rachel. She's great as well. Yeah, he says thank you. Tell Rachel we love her cookies and we want it on the show next time. You can't have my wife's cookies. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only yeah. for Way me. above your pay grade. Damn there it. have been many who have come before you who have made endless demands, have been offered a fortune for these cookies. They will never be anybody's cookies but mine. Oh. Hmm. All right. And we have, uh, I guess, some more notes. Uh, you said you had a Pornhub at one point and I realized I didn't want to upload anymore because I felt empty. I tried going on sugar dating websites and it was a mess. My self-esteem was low and I didn't know how to go about asking money from men. I have plenty of online dating stories from over 12 years of using dating apps. I learned a lot about men and women through dating apps. Uh, so you used to, you had a porn account, so like you used to do porn or? Like I had it when the whole like OnlyFans craze came out like in 2020, mm-hmm. I got really interested in it and I started just thinking like, oh, this is how people are making their money. Mm-hmm. And I had, I was not sober. I was like mm-hmm. totally in a really bad state of mind. I'm not, I don't think anybody should be doing OnlyFans. And then um, what kind of content were you making? BG? Um, yeah, so it was with my boyfriend, and we uh-huh. made a couple of videos, and then I did like two solo videos, and I saw he wasn't into it, and I mm-hmm. was like, okay, this is clearly not something he is into. Why I don't want to force him into like doing it with me. Okay, and you said the sugar dating website, so seeking. Yeah. Were you on that one? Do we still have that pulled up, Austin? The, the, uh, what's your price one? Uh, oh, I signed up there one time. Yeah. Have any of you been on that, Emma? No. Have any of you had a sugar daddy? No. No. Really? Wait, don't you do OnlyFans? No. You don't do OnlyFans? No. Who does OnlyFans? I don't think any of us Nobody here? Wait. (laughs) Hold on just a second. Let me do a little (laughs) investigation. Uh Uh-huh. 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 Oh, you don't do OnlyFans. My bad. (laughs) For some reason, oh, it's because you have a hoobie. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah, I saw the hoobie. I was like, does she have a? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's let's uh, this website. We're not sponsored, guys. Just some girl a couple shows ago mentioned it. I'd not heard about it somehow, and apparently these girls, you can go on the website, um, and essentially you get paid to go on a date. It's not like sex, or it's not like, but the guys just pay for you to go on a date with them. Kind of pathetic for the dudes. Um, sugar sugar daddy? No. Have you, okay, who here sent, sent a foot pick? Okay, you sent it for, for money, right? Of course. How much did you charge? Mm, 50 to 100. Okay, all right. That's, is that the, that's the going rate for uh, the feet picks, I guess. Uh, Q, you ever sent a foot pick? No. No? Never? Not once? Okay. I don't think women like feet. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I had a few men who wanted to be my sugar daddies and like offered me a bunch of stuff, but it's mm. like it felt too too transactional and like I had to do something in exchange, and that just does not feel right to be pressured into something for exchange for something else. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
for very back to your notes for a very long time you said you had an attraction and attachment to older men but after online dating for over a decade i realized a lot of them had a lot of psychological problems a lot of men on those sites were living double lives were very controlling not to say that every man who's dating online is like that I also came across many good men while on my search, but I wasn't interested because my mind was not in the right place. Uh, you said, I'm so tired of hearing that men are trash and men ain't shit. We need men. Men need to be loved and cherished too. Also say no to situationships. Going around the table on this, uh, do we need men? Do we need men? Do we need men? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> we not. It's very non-committal, <laughs> but okay. Do we need men? Absolutely. I, 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 I feel like we can't let you get a pass on this. Uh, uh, Savannah, mm -hmm. do we need men? Yes, we do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you said your stance on dating is to only date with intention. I don't waste my time with somebody who does not match my future, which means I'm looking at their character. What type of relationships does this man value? Is he close with his family? What does he do with his time? Yeah. Like no, okay. All right. Uh, you said you found a good match through Tinder. After many people told me they met their husband or wife on Tinder, I gave it a shot. I ended up matching with someone who I went to high school with. Uh, you guys were very compatible. Uh, you guys were looking for something stable. Managed to find that through online dating. Uh, let's see. Uh, how many dates did you go on from Tinder? Um, it was just him. He was my first Tinder date. Oh. And then, okay. And now you guys are together, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You said you had a drastic weight loss. You were 50 pounds heavier than you are now. You can share how loss has, loss has helped me? Like how the weight oh, loss Oh, the weight me. loss. I was like, Great. somebody died? <laughs> uh, has, I, and how I was never happy when I was fat. I don't think body positivity is the answer in today's society. I do think we should encourage each other to lose weight and find other healthy coping skills. I feel like nobody wants to talk about food being an addiction, but they're so quick to call out a pothead, crackhead, and alcoholic. <laughs> is this directed at me? <laughs> what the fuck? No, Damn, I just bro. feel like a bunch of girls with like the whole, like, like when I was growing up, it was not okay to show your stomach. It was not okay to show your midriff if you were fat. And then like, I don't know what's going on nowadays. Now, it's, is it okay? No. To some people, and mm -hmm. like I'm not saying, oh, I'm shaming you, but like, dude, I'm gonna look at your stomach. It, and well, wait, just like with is it okay people, to you? Is it okay people? to you? What do you mean? I mean, do you think it's okay for women to walk around like these? Uh, I, I think that you're kind of alluding to the bovines who walk around and have the, uh, the short crop shirts and yeah. look like they're about to begin grazing in the field. Um, do you think that that's okay? That the, um, these kind of uh, you know, heavy set bovines are able to do this? <laughs> No, I don't think they should be doing it. I don't think it's like body positivity. I think that food can be an addiction. And what's wrong, like if you're concerned with your friend who's like overweight with having a conversation with them, instead of just like cheering them on, like, oh yeah, let's go eat, girl. Like what's wrong with bringing up that conversation? Mm. Hmm. You know, um, one of the, kind of maybe for a little bit of a back and forth, you know that men body shame each other constantly. Yeah. It's, uh, it's per, in fact, it's perhaps the number one insult I've heard from one man to another in my life. Even if they're very good natured with each other, like each other quite a bit, right? It's very common, for instance, inside of male groups to say, hey, shut up, you know, uh, fat boy, shut up, right? I've, I've heard this more times than I can count. At, I don't, I'm not sure that that dynamic really exists anymore in modernity with women. It seems like uh, that's considered inappropriate or taboo or something like this, or at least something that a friend wouldn't say to you. Whereas with men, it's all but common. I mean, all but common. Hmm. Am I wrong there, Q? No, nah, we bond over it. We insult each other. We make fun of it's each like other. It's like who has the best roast, right? Yeah, exactly. We have roast sessions with one another. You do it with a woman and... It's damn near World War Three. <laughs> it's true. So I just so so I don't really see a problem with what you're saying. In fact, a creator who got in a lot of trouble for saying something similar, Pearl Davis, constantly brings this point up that men ridicule each other nonstop uh, when it comes to appropriate clothing 
and how they should or shouldn't look while they're out in public and this and that. And women just really don't seem to police each other.